care about that? Because I care. So because you care, I care? That's how it's supposed to be. Do you get to care what I care about? Probably not. Oh, this is gonna be good. Do you want to invite Daddy? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Because he slept with your sister. So? 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 She's a big girl. It was a bad breakup. No, it wasn't. Your sister was a mess. She's a big girl. Do you mean talk to your sister? Yeah? Why? We're not inviting Danny. Okay. I don't care. He's like your best friend. So? So? You don't want him to come to our wedding. He'll be happy he doesn't have to buy us a gift. He's still gonna throw me a hell of a bachelor party. Great. Did you look at this friggin' place? Not a great place for a reception, huh? Hell no. Just mosquitoes and snakes in this pit. Yeah, it kinda reminds me of home. Is this what I can look forward to when I meet your parents? Careful, my dad smokes a corn cob pipe that blows bubbles. Perez, Jackson, eyes in front. Keep it down. Sergeant? Hey, how come I haven't gotten an invitation yet? Can it, Private. If we need another waiter, I'll give you a call. Jackson... What? Sorry, we haven't even announced it to anyone. It's not like it's a secret. I was talking to Tank about it during the mess. We think you should have a dessert wedding. Thanks. What's a dessert wedding? You know, skip the dinner. Everyone complains about their dinner anyways. Spend the money on the desserts. It makes economic sense and everyone will go away happy. Wow. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> if it's cheaper. Hey. How are we gonna handle this? One of us is gonna have to transfer to another unit. I like this unit. So do I. And I've been here longer. I'll flip you for it. Or we can arm wrestle and I'll kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sarge, the radar's out. Flip the partial three on the scope, Jackson. Yes, sir. Anything? Not yet. Kilo one approaching target zone. Why would it do that, Sarge? Fucking Pee Wee League, Perez.
have an engineering background. You read Wired magazine. That doesn't make you an expert, Forney. You don't have a lot of friends, do you? There's Danny. Not after you don't invite him to our wedding. True, but look, if you want to invite him, great. If not, great. Why do you care what I think? Because if you care, I care. I'm sick of you having to hide it. I'm talking to Drew tonight. This could be the reason why it disappears from radar. Have they tried using their subsurface? Although that doesn't always work when there's a deep lake. Like... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Phantom 4, advise, do you copy? Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? We've lost contact with Private Fornit. Lieutenant, where are Private Fornit's stats? Major, we're not getting any readings. What the hell was that? Major, tell Kilo 1 to take Fox for me. Get General Langdon on the floor, now! Yes, sir. Not even a ripple. It might not be in the water. Could it be in the forest? Attention! Major, any luck finding the boy? Doesn't look good, sir. We got Kilo 1 on the ground running recon, approaching the target. Radar indicates the false positive. Covers too thick for our birds of SATCOM. Kilo 1 will send in your person. Sir, it's down again. What are you referring to? The mass stays in one place, but vacillates. Hot, cold, disappears, stays in the same place. And we have no idea what this is or why it's on American soil? At this point, we are not assuming anything. McCoy is working on the terrain, and Reynolds is working on atmospheric anomalies. A 6.1 seismic quake recorded by USGS about 13 miles west of uh, Point Lagoon Naval Air Station. Three days ago, it was uh, 2132 in the Pacific Ocean. The quake was uh, determined at uh, 235 miles below the surface. 
Sir, the mouse is located here, north of Santa Barbara, by about four miles. And around here, we have some ultra basic rock. It's chiefly Mesozoic. This is a highly erodible, well weathered, and mostly saturated area. Disturbances of this can initiate extensive mass movement of rock and sediment, sir. So it could be from erosion. I think maybe an underground explosion of some kind? Something leaked up to the surface? Soft sand is very good probability. Probably nothing to worry about, General. General? Leia. Didn't know you had a bunker in downtown LA. Well, I see we've been enjoying the California sun, haven't we? That's next week. Right now, I'm just taking soil samples at Gaviota. Dr. Pro, thank you for coming. I expected Jack. Would have been nice. Your boss and my boss are just south of Shagunhei trying to save the world. So what do we have? Fifth Air National Guard picked this up about four days ago. Survey. General, the target is moving. Speed. Short shift. He dispersed to different cavities. A shift in weight? You're implying it's an animal, Leo? What we're looking at here is something bigger than an 18 wheeler. Yeah, it's not an animal. What kind of protection are they wearing? Kevlar, of course. They're in addition. No. No. What are you driving at? It's moving organically. It may not be one creature, but many. What about a swarm of bees? Bees? Well, this is the richest ecosystem in the United States. It's, General, it's possible. You, you have ant colonies recorded over three miles long in Central Europe. Ants, huh? I think it's time to go. Sergeant Druitt. Look, we'll link up the Central, we'll get another unit in here. Look, I'm not gonna risk whatever's down here on you. We're both leaving. Now. Longitude, 3406 degrees. Latitude, 11906 degrees. Where is that? Near Port Magoo. Just south of it, deeper in the marsh, looks like the Sisquok River. Talk to me about this river. Um, 50 miles long. Starts at the top of the San Rafael Mountains. Dams, diversions? No, it's not man-made at least. Meets up with the Kiwama River, which runs into the Pacific. Here, I got a three-meter dam on Horse Canyon. Now wait, scratch that, it's out of commission. General, your men are not prepared. They're staying. We've got a man missing. Your team is in jeopardy. They're not ready to handle this, General, if this thing is organic, if it's alive. What, bugs? Sir, there's nothing to indicate that anything's alive out there in the first place. That riverbed's been dry most of the year. Not anymore, General. A skilled predator has decimated the ecosystem in this area, and it's killing your troops. Phantom 4, this is Kilo 1. Sergeant Drood is in the water, KIA. I've got to tell you, we're sitting ducks here. We're going to rendezvous with Alpha 23 and need assistance. Send in General. Alpha 23 units. This is now an R and R. Celia, what the hell do you think you're doing? We need to go to the coordinates. Shh, just look. Phantom Four, are you getting any of this over? Phantom 4, are you getting any of this over? 
These things are like three feet tall. I don't think I want to see what happens when these things hatch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait! That thing's coming in fast. Oh, legs? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take Fox It's right on them. You've got to get okay. them out of there. What about stars? Who's yeah. in the air? Okay. I need to know who's in the air. Regions of California now. Look at that bite radius. Those teeth are at least eight inches. Hench, I want you to get one right now. Intel. I'll get to do this. It's been a four. Very Based on the size of the area around the mouth, compared to the depth of Private Jackson, you're looking at 60 to 80 feet. Of what? What am I looking at? A crocodile. Press. Anybody with ears on? Four, this is Private Press. Anybody with ears on? Private Press, what is your marker? Charlie Alpha Male, I'm approximately 100 yards from target. Affirmative, Private. You're sending a squad of elites for SNR. Rodney, 20 degrees north at marker 17, over. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? I think I'm the only one left. Get you home, Private. Ma'am, there appears, there are what appears to be eggs. I need to speak with General Taggart, sir. Damn it! Longitude, 3406 degrees, latitude 11906 degrees.
Sir, Alpha 23 has landed. Who's the CEO? Captain Lynch. What do we have on Lynch? Let him know what he's up against. What are we up against? A uh, reptilian predator, a mutant, I don't know yet. General, there are over 80 different types of reptiles in the region. And another 50 kinds of amphibious creatures, but none that are close to this size. It wasn't a crocodile. I agree. There are no crocodiles this size anywhere in the world. At least not for the past 100,000 years, and certainly none recorded off the coast of California. Then what the hell was it? It's something else. Sir, we have Perez and Alpha 2-3 online. Send them both to Marker 17 and get them off the ground. Yes, sir. Hi, Perez. This is Adam 4. Do you read? Sergeant Lynch, this is Lieutenant Hench at Control. We have a monitor on Perez. She's approximately 400 yards south. Proceed with extreme caution. Over. Private right, Perez. Phantom 4, do you copy? Private Alpha 23 has disembarked and is heading in your direction. Over. Yes, ma'am. Over. Copy that, Lieutenant. Sir, area secure. Extreme caution. Yes, sir. Okay. She's 400 south. Let's move. S2? No. No, sir. Move out. Clear. Sir, we lost it again. What? Disappeared? Not on the map. Do you have subterranean energy? Wait. We have a sad visual that can point that direction in about five minutes. Water? Maybe it's submerged. Um, How deep is it? Most of that is uncharted, but as a rule, it's not that deep. Unless, well, unless there's a runoff into the Pacific, which could cause erosion. Plus, whatever this is could have created its own home, its own underwater cave and tunnel system. So it could have gone undetected for years. General, we need to send an amphibious unit out there to 608 that river. With a creature this size, do you realize how big a cave would have to be? Exactly. Excuse me, General. Get on that. I want an amphibious unit available as soon as possible. I need General Taggart on the phone immediately. This is an emergency. Captain, movement, 25 yards. Fire on my mark. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. Don't shoot. He has to try, sir. At ease, private. You know it's a good way to get yourself killed? Yes, sir. Are you hurt? No, I'll be all right, sir. 
C2, this is star one. We located survivor. Over. C2, proceed with recovery. Over. Relax, Private. You're with us now. Any survivors in your group? No, sir. Where are the remains? There aren't any. This is a rescue and recovery mission. My orders are to bring back remains. You need to tell me where they're at. The sergeant's hand is down by the riverbank, and for the rest of them, you're just going to have to cut that thing open. You gotta be kidding me. No, sir, I'm not. How many? Three dead, sir. It's not safe here on the ground. Where were you attacked? Approximately one click northwest of here. Thing was big. Bullets don't even hurt it. I understand, Private. But I have orders to follow, okay? Don't worry. You'll be safe by us. C2, this is Star 1. We've located Survivor. Seeking further intel. Prepare for extraction. Over. All right, let's move out. Prepare for No, you're going in the wrong direction. It's on the southwest end, about 200 yards from the lake. You should be right there. Wait, I see it. Okay, got it. Dryer, you need to destroy the rest of the eggs. Okay, let's do this. This is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? <laughs> Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is.
What is it? <laughs> When's the last time we heard it? It is quiet. What would make it just turn around? Let's go. I need topicals. I want to know if this thing moves, when it's moving. I also need vitals on all the populated areas in the region, and I need it now. Watch the branches. Listen, Private. I don't know what your deal is, but soldier up. We're gonna have to circle back to avoid it. You can't avoid it. Excuse me? You can't avoid it. If it was coming straight at you, yeah, sure, then you can avoid it. But crocs are different. They hide, they pounce, so circle back, forward, it doesn't matter. If he wants you, he's gonna get you. They're strong, skilled, patient predators. They can, they can lie in wait and, and stalk in silence. A croc this big, I haven't seen anything like it. And you have a lot of experience with this type of predator. Yeah, I grew up in Florida, not the city part. Which is why I know. Andrew. Move out, Private. I'll tell Taggart. We need to conduct this at CL7. It's the only facility we have with the capacity for an operation of this scale. We're loading them right now. Roger. I'll clear everything. You'll have your orders shortly. Let's go, boys. Copy that. Dr. Perot. We have SATCOM Delta in place. Our DLIR is operational. Moving fast. This thing's that big. Wow, look at it go. The beast is on the move, Dr. Perot. That runoff leads to the Pacific. Their rivers, freshwater, the ocean salt. And the crocodile? Might go to land before it hits the ocean. Does it avoid salt water? Not entirely, but they do avoid ocean water, heavily alkaline. However, that's a normal croc. I am not sure the exact reaction this one will have. Will salt water kill it? I assume this thing has spent a great deal of time underground. It's probably used to some kind of salt in its diet. Talk to me, Perez. About what, Captain? Why were you up in the tree? Crocs, the ones I'm used to, can't lift their heads because of their jaw. Here. Maybe your boys did it. No, my boys didn't live long enough to do this. Where are the eggs now? Hopefully pulverize into this. Wait, this is from a bio unit. Let's go, let's get the hell out of here. Major, what's the worst case scenario? Bunker bombs don't work. Plows through these lines here and here. Head straight towards our side, sir. Population? Roughly 182,000. Why are you here? They are. Why are you stationed here? A forensic paleontologist in Southern California. Not much need for that now, is there? 
After Hurricane Audrey hit, we found bits of bone washed up. The bones appeared Triassic. Is that unusual? By itself, no. Most of this continent was inhabited by dinosaurs, but this bone was younger. To put it more accurately, it was new. New? And yet it matched bone structures from the pre-Triassic periods. What kind of bones? Reptile. Like a crocodile? Ancient forms, but yes. How big are we talking about? Largest bones to surface showed up in Niger in 1947. It was about 40 feet, twice as long as the largest crocodile in modern times. But these were bigger? Much bigger. So you came here to find the source of the bones? And I think we have. There's probably a reservoir that feeds the lake in that river. How thick is the armor on this thing? That's something the Army Science Corps would love to find out. Well, what will it withstand? By my calculation, it can walk through a colossal amount of firepower completely unharmed. We did tests on the fossilized scales we found in Niger. The armor on an archosaur is so strong that none of our modern bullets would ever penetrate it. For all of our advanced technology, we have not created anything that comes close to the aggression, resiliency, and overall fighting power of the ancient crocodile. It's worse. Crocodiles survive for over 100 million years because they're virtually impenetrable. The crocodiles you see today in modern times look the same as they did back then. They are the only living species that stayed evolution because quite frankly, they didn't need to adapt. Crocodiles have been on this earth since before the dinosaurs. They're indestructible. Their ancestors were the toughest predators this earth has ever sustained. An archosaur could eat a T-Rex. In fact, they did. And when the dinosaurs became extinct, they survived. They have been on this earth for millions of years. They're aggressive, relentless, protective. Their armor is virtually impenetrable. A tank with an appetite. OK, so if these modern crocodiles have all come to the historic ones, what are the giant ones still doing around? My guess, mm -hmm. and I'm just guessing, is that they had to adapt to a subterranean habitat. When meteors and climate disasters exterminated the dinosaurs, they went underground and survived. Thank you. We need to clip this thing before it hits a big city. What do I have nearby? Well, this is the California coast, so most areas are inhabited by surfers, tourists, restaurants, and the like. So if this thing's moving that quickly, it's going to intersect with civilization fast. Falk. Yes, sir. I need to talk to Tilligan at NSC, and I need to get a hold of Jack at Homeland Security. We might have to call in the National Guard. Yes, sir. Reynolds. I need its path mapped and a list of towns in harm's way. Yeah, first on its path is a tiny surf spot called Pedis Point. It's about three miles south, right before Oxnard. All right, send in uh, troops from Wainimi or Magoo and cordon off the entrance. Major. Yes, sir. Break out the bunker bombs. I want to blast this thing to hell. Yes, sir. I need a list of all my available firepower options. Julie, get me the congressman from that district on the phone. Prepare to engage. What's its DMPI? More important now. Sir, if it stays this course, we're looking eight, ten minutes tops before it hits Petus. Try and get the women and children out. Everyone else should stay indoors. We only have minutes. Yes, sir. Dr. Pearl, lane 12. Thank you, Julie. Sir, we have B unit up, Cam 9. Taggart wants them safely to their destination by 0800 before anyone might theorize. 
something else. I'm implementing a backup plan. An air and a spare, as they say. I need to get back in there. I'll be in touch. Yes, sir. General, you are only a few minutes away from substantial civilian casualties. General, the SEP is eight to 10 meters. We're one click from Point Petus. We're going to have little collateral damage, but in general, we're good, sir. I don't understand what's going on. Sir, I'm just going to go back home. The date's right. Where are you going? Is this legal? Yeah, it's legal. Where are you going? Back to the Stay back behind the line now. Everybody back. What would make it just give up? Crocs don't have a lot of range. They give up after a while. Maybe we let it too, too far from home. Maybe. Those are Apaches. Fully loaded. They're coming to get it. Will they see it in here? Well, they have spectroscopes and infrared. I don't think that thing can hide that well. So, basically, if they start bombing, we're screwed. Roger that. Sir, evac is complete. Full containment. Tango Foxtrot, this is Phantom 4. Did you receive full containment? Major, clear your men and bring on the fireworks. What's our ETA? Four minutes, sir. Sir, we have an affirmative. Okay, let's do it. Phantom 4, this is Tango. We are in position. Croc is in our sights. Maverick 3, this is Hi Hat. On my mark. Engage Alpha Strike. Piss it off. Phantom 4. Sir? Maybe we can learn something about this thing. Alpha 2 3, proceed to coordinates to retrieve star 1. Sir, we can have our boys back down there and add it within minutes. What else you got? I don't want this thing getting to Oxnard. You've got Moab at 22,000 pounds. It's out of Vandenberg. We'll need to see 130. Hench, get Nancy Travis in Vandenberg. Kill zone. 
You're looking at uh, nine tons of trike now, sir. First hike is six to eight feet. You better still be talking wastelands here. We're gonna have to call him back and auction out right now. General. Roger that. Over. Chopper's coming to take us back to base. We use this road to get there. Just take a break for now, right? things will kill you. Yeah, so will a hundred foot crocodile. Hey, stay here, they're bringing help. Private! Person to person, stand down. They're taking care of it. I'm sure your husband will want to see you home alive. Private! Think you could take this thing out alone? You? Alone? Sweet Jesus, girl. You are something else. This isn't some backwoods Gatorland road show. With all due respect, sir, shut up. Because first of all, it's been my backwoods gator experience that's been keeping us alive so far. And second of all, this, this is not a wedding ring. It's an engagement ring. What kind of bullet-pissing, jar-headed moron can't tell the difference between a wedding ring and an engagement ring, huh? I'm not married! I was engaged to a guy in our unit. Now he's gone. Now I don't want to fight this 100-foot crocodile. I just want to go help these people. Hey. We still need a rendezvous with their helicopter, all right? They're expecting us back at base. Fine. Perez. I'm sorry. I didn't know. you to authorize the National Guard. Dr. Perot, Show me the status, General. Mm -hmm. Dr. Perot here. Right. No, that's good. That's very good. I need you to change course. An AS, JRB, Los Angeles. Meet up with the Colonel Jobin. He'll be waiting for you. Thanks. Hold it. Back him up. Moving him out to NAS. Let's go, we need to move, come on. You secure this line here, and this line here. All right. All right, the terrain there vacillates between swamp marsh, mud, and trees, and there's not much civilization population from here to Oxnard, sir. Any theories as to why it's heading towards Oxnard? Well, it is strawberry season, sir. Who the fuck are you? McCoy from NOAA. Son, I've got a 10,000 ton reptile bearing down on a populated area. The last thing I need is comic relief. Understood? Yes, sir. Sir, can you tell me to go again? What's the uh, status on Moab? Moab? Give the word. Dr. Perot, what kills a croc? Usually firepower can do the trick, but this creature's armor is unlike anything we've ever encountered. We could also drug it. Hit it with chemicals, kill it that way, or at least render it less of a threat until we can figure out a way to take it apart. What kind of chemicals are we talking about? I'd recommend Flaxidil. Flaxidil? It's a neuromuscular blocking agent. How exactly do we administer this cure? Do we just get it to open up and say, ah? 
No dart would penetrate this thing's armor. How much would it take? The flaxidil is in gas form. Extremely toxic, but you need to release it in immediate contact with the target. Sir, if you release that kind of chemical agent anywhere near a human population, it will cost lives. We have plenty of firepower on standby, and we can always explore the nuclear option. On U.S. soil? The radius of dissemination is two kilometers for it to be harmful to humans. Homeland Security would never authorize unleashing firepower of that magnitude on American soil. Well, let's just hope that something else eradicates it. Yes, 70,000 units. I can have it ready to transport in 20 minutes. What about attaching it to a warhead? Aerodynamic dissemination. Wait, a chemical weapon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! I, I, I have cousins in Santa Rosa that... <laughs> First, we'll start out with the Schedule Ones, and then we'll follow that up with the Moab. But, look! Chemical weapons effectiveness depends largely upon atmospheric conditions. Now, we are facing a 14 mile an hour southwest wind coming in from the Sierra Madres. Clear all areas, set up roadblocks, and end this thing before it reaches Oxnard. Okay. We're doing both. The Flaxido will slow it down long enough, and the Moab will make sure that it stays down. Call your boys. I need to make this happen. I'm reachable by cell. You have 10 minutes to get your stuff to base. Keep all lines open. Yes, sir. General. get paid to worry. That's for more important people to do. Besides, it never helps. Where are we heading? Perez. I didn't mean to belittle your contribution to keeping us alive. I'm grateful for your knowledge of crocodiles. I don't know jack about them. It's all right. Sorry I blew up at you, sir. It's your fiance. Yeah. We need to evacuate the city. I've already issued a severe level for Oxnard and the surrounding areas. Without the evac order. The government is prepared for this. For this? Terrorism with little time to react. We've already got a lockdown for most of Ventura County. Collateral damage. Well, we'll have to hope for the best on this one. Lieutenant, where's my Flaxadil? In the air, sir. What's the projected intercept? Four time? minutes, 49 seconds. And to Oxnard? Uh, approximately 16 minutes, sir. Population? It's barren, not even a hillbilly. Are you positive? There are teams sweeping the area now, so they're looking for transients and teams. Make sure we get everyone out of its path. At what point do we see population? Six minutes to the crock, if that's good. It's a very short window, General. And the President. We're cleared. Okay, let's get our pilot started. Yes, sir. Copy that, Tango. On my mark, sir. And they're sure they have a shot. Yes, sir. Tango, this is Phantom 4. When you have a good shot, take it. Over. Kilo 1, we have eyes on. Switch to SATCOM 2, 3. 4, 3, 2, go.
Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill? Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill? Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill? Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill at this moment? Okay, let's bring in the big guns and put this thing to bed. We need a spec ops team to take the remains to a covert location immediately. CC-12 is mobilized with ETA of seven minutes. Ten more minutes on the MOAP, sir. God damn it. Hurry it up. Yes, sir. FEMA's on their way. Well, that figures. Major. Yes, sir. What's the holdup with the C-130? Being transported from Dallas, sir. The explosions were local, but the nearest aircraft was in it. Sir, this is... Private Perez, Captain Lynch. Eddie's. Perez, you reported in the field that what you saw you thought you believed to be AIDS. Is that right? Yes, sir. Please tell me that was a moment of delusional shock. No, sir. We located the croc's nest, and there appeared to be about a hundred eggs. Did you see these? No, sir. We came across that same area later. We found that it had been scorched. Scorched? Completely eradicated. Devastated. Gone. We found this. Could that be from your unit? No military markings. Could it be from another force? Someone could have stolen some eggs and scorched the area. God damn it! Get me Dr. Parole on the phone now! Henry, we need to focus on a massive assault about to hit a major American city. We'll deal with this egg problem later. General, what if the croc is after something? What if it's after its eggs? Crocodiles are one of the most defensive animals around, worse than bears. They only attack if threatened. A croc that big? Its sense of smell would reach for miles. You two are dismissed. That was strange. Politics are always strange. Since when is this about politics? Think someone took those eggs? I don't know. Listen, my body hurts in about a million places. I'm gonna head home. Don't you want to stop it? We have an entire U.S. military to kill that thing. I need a shower, a beer, and some sleep. Sir, it's moving. You shipped a course. It's not headed towards Oxnard anymore. It's hauling ass. Where's it going? Sir, it's heading towards Los Angeles. Towards us? Yes, sir. God damn it! We have no idea how fast it travels on the water. We need to address the possible decimation of the second largest population center in the country, which means we need to move a few million people in 20 minutes. And we still can't track it with any consistency. Its armor gives it almost stealth capacity. Does the salt water weaken it in any way? Again, sir, we don't know. I don't think even the Army Sciences Corps knows that. This is unprecedented. God damn it! Do we have a visual? Negative, sir. It's like trying to stop an avalanche with a goddamn stop sign. We need a strategy. We need an exterminator. This isn't a war. 
I have to tell the President of the United States that the city of Los Angeles is about to be under attack. It's all over the news. Yes, you heard me. I don't know how it knows, but it does. It's got the advantage of 10 million years of instinct. You need to get them out of there now. We need to move these eggs now. You've got three minutes. I have Jones setting up a C-133. Be at the tarmac in 10. Henry? I've just been informed of covert op. Secure the eggs of this creature at a secret base for research into its potential uses for defense. Where are the eggs now? They're being held at an NAS facility just outside the port of Los Angeles. So it's going after its egg? I don't know. I don't know. That's the current assessment. So we use them to stop it. Now that we know it's an objective, we can form a plan to eliminate it. C-133 is taking off at 2300, and with it, the eggs. That's all I've been authorized to tell you. It still might make its way into the city. I know. We're transporting the eggs to an island far away from the U.S. They will probably intercept you and requisition these. Do your best to prevent them from being destroyed. Ma'am, the egg... The I'm egg. counting on you, Dryer. Yes, ma'am. Okay, take her to the tarmac. There's a C-130 waiting for you. Play the chaperone. I'll see you in two days. Yes, ma'am. She's going out. The odds are extremely high that the eggs will not survive. Yes, backup is in operation, currently in my possession. Sir, the composition of this armor, it's indestructible. It could advance our military's R.D. by 50, 60, 100 years. I understand. I agree, yes sir. It's about the DNA, the eggs. Thank you, Mr. President. What's the word? 10 clicks west of Los Angeles, sir. On foot, you're looking at 28 minutes. If she goes coastal, six to eight minutes. When does she hit population? How could these civilians run most of a route? Obviously, it gets more concentrated the closer you get to Los Angeles. Sir, we're getting pretty dicey at this point for explosives. Thank you, McCoy. And up in the air? Seven Hornets, three Blackhawks, sir. All carrying munitions. Fucking armor. The perfect tank. The ultimate killing machine. Where are we with evacuations? Well, we don't have to worry about getting the word out, sir. Why not? The press has already done that for us. It's all over the news. We have no margin for error, sir. Absolute zero. Have those idiots tell everyone to stay off the streets. It's like we're delivering dinner to the fucking thing. Major, there's a C-133 taking off right now. We need to stop it. Take the cargo, out it on a truck. It's our only way of controlling its path if it's going after its eggs. We lost the croc, sir. It's back in the water. How long? ETA, approximately two minutes. Major, we've got to hit this thing with everything we've got before it gets out of the goddamn water. Yes, sir. What are we talking about? Give me a location. Looks like off the Santa Monica coastline, sir. Unbelievable. Where are the Moabs? I'm not asking, Jack. We're both on the same page here. We have to stop it. McCoy, plot an area for attack. Major, get your boys ready. Hey! Press! Press! 
Come on, I'll give you a ride. What was that? Monster bombs. It's at the foot of the city. It's still moving, sir. What else we got, Major? We have a major assault on the field right now, sir. Without success. We just don't know where we are yet. Sir, the crocodile is emerging from the water. Damn it! So where am I taking you, Private? Take me downtown. Nah. It's too dangerous downtown. I have to drop you off at my place, or I can drop you off at the NES in Lancaster. I didn't say I live downtown, just take me there. Where are you going? With you. Any hurricane sirens? Already on it, sir. Homeland Security declared it's a disaster area. We have emergency workers clearing out their homes, telling some people to stay inside. They listening? Would you? It's on market, westbound. What reserves do we have? We have 35 National Guardsmen arriving every 12 minutes. We'll have 2,000 by the morning. All right. Isolate Temple up to 3rd. I want to drive this thing out into the L.A. Harbor. Get it in the water? If it's fresh water and we get it into the salt water, we can use this opportunity to slap it down while it's struggling. Maybe Dr. Perot would know better, sir. Dr. Perot is the reason that this thing has gotten as far as it has. She's not to be trusted. You know, sir, if you lead it to the water... You it's our best opportunity. We can drive it out into the sea where it's wide open and then we can kill it. This thing really is looking for its eggs. Maybe we could lead it away. Lure it to a waiting Moab using the eggs as bait. Everyone to move now.
Flinch, Perez. My office, first thing in the morning. By the way, good job. Get some sleep. Sir. How's your leg? Not bad. I can use a drink. You can use a hospital. Yeah, at some point. Okay. But I'm buying. <laughs>